Today I'm going to show you how to work out the missing side in a right angle triangle using trigonometry. Uh, the first thing you need to do though is make sure that you're doing a trigonometric question uh, because a lot of students get this mixed up with Pythagoras. Um, so if we're using trigonometry to work out a missing side what you'll need is you'll need one of the other sides of the right angle triangle and you'll also need the angle. So you can see that on example 1 we have the side and the angle and on example 2 we have the side and the angle and we need to find one of the other sides. So this is clearly a trig question. So let's do example 1 then. So we've got to work out x. So we've got the angle which is 42 and we've got the side length which is 12. So step 1 is to label up your triangle. The hypotenuse is the longest side of the right angle triangle. That one's H. The side opposite the angle that you're given is called the opposite side, so let's just call that capital O. The third side of the right angle triangle is the adjacent side, so let's call that capital A. So we've labelled up our triangle. We now need to decide which one of our three trig formulas to use. So our three trig formulas are sin, theta, equals opposite of a hypotenuse. Theta stands for the angle. Then we've got cos theta equals adjacent divided by the hypotenuse. And the third trig formula is tan theta equals opposite divided by the adjacent. If you're having trouble remembering these three formulas, you can use the word SOHCATOA S-O-H-C-A-H-T-O-A SOHCATOA so you've got sin, cos and tan ok so let's move on with the problem then so we need to choose which formula that we're going to use for this problem right it's nothing to do with the adjacent side uh, we've got the hypotenuse and we need to work out the opposite. So our formula needs to have O and H in. So if we look at the three trig formulas, which one contains O and H? Well, it'll be the first one, so we'll be using sin. So if we just copy this formula out one more time. So if we substitute our values into the formula, so it'll be sin theta is 42, the opposite is x and the hypotenuse is 12. So what we have to do is work out x but we've got this divide by 12 on the right hand side so we need to get rid of the divide 12 so I do that by multiplying the other side by 12 so we get 12 times sin 42 is equal to x. So if you get your calculator and you just need to type that in now so we do 12 times sin 42 hit your equals and that gives you 8.03 centimeters and that's the 3SF. So let's move on to example 2. A little bit different this second example as you'll see later on. So first thing we have to do is label up the triangle. So the longest side of the right angle triangle is the hypotenuse. The side opposite the given angle is the opposite side and the third side is the adjacent side. So next thing is to decide which one of our three trig formulas to use. It's nothing to do with the hypotenuse so we can cross that one out. We have to work out the adjacent side so it must have A in and we're given the opposite side so it must have O in. So which one of the three trig formulas contains O and A? So if we look at the three here, so O and A would be the tan formula. So if we copy this one down, so we get tan 
theta equals opposite over adjacent. So if we substitute our numbers into our formula, so it'd be tan, the angle is 38, uh, the opposite is 5, and the adjacent side is y. Now, I did say this one's a little bit different to the first example. Um, if you notice, the unknown side, the side we're after, is on the denominator of the fraction. On example 1, the unknown side was on the numerator of the fraction. So we have to do this one a bit differently. It won't be 5 times tan 38 this time. The quickest way to do this is just to swap the denominator and tan 38, which is on the left hand side. Just swap these two values over. So bring the y to the left hand side where the tan 38 was and put the tan 38 on the denominator. So to work out angle y we need to do 5 divided by tan 38. So if you get your scientific calculator, so we can use our fraction book here. So we do 5 over tan 38, make sure you close your bracket. Okay, and that gives you 6.40 centimetres to three significant figures. Okay, thanks for watching.